My name is Jeff Weiss. I am the bass instructor here at Hyde Music, and um, yeah, I would teach bass and guitar lessons. I've been teaching here for about 10 years. I got my uh, undergrad degree here at UW-Madison, um, and then I shortly applied after graduating at UW-Madison and got accepted here at Hyde Music. I've been teaching here since. I also okay. perform around the world, um, touring with a bunch of bands. I'm in six different bands right now. The one that travels the most is Harmonious Will, but I play in a bunch of other groups like um, Funk Group, Big Payback, playing bluegrass band, playing an Irish band as well, a bunch of jazz combos, yeah. Well, music is my life. So I started off learning bass in a store kind of like this. It was good and loud back in the day, local music shop. Ever since I started, picked up the bass, you know, it was actually my best friend, Alex Arita, way back when he played guitar. He's like, you should play bass. We, you know, join a band. And ever since I started picking up the bass, it just transformed me into something, you know, like definitely resonated something within me and something I couldn't get rid of. So ever since then, I was just addicted to the music. Playing in bands with him throughout, you know, high school and whatnot, went on to study in college, kind of immersed myself within music. So music is just like my life. It's something that I've always resonated with. So when you talk about like the legacy of Hyde, which is awesome, 75 years is amazing. You know, I've been here for 10 of those years. And like I said, I started off in a local music shop, which gives me great pride to be teaching here at a local music shop like Hyde. But my first teacher was Rob Junko, who still plays around uh, Madison in the Wisconsin area. Actually, um, so I just won the best basis of Madison, the Mama Awards, and all the people uh, for that nomination were actually Rob's students. So his legacy, if you're talking about legacy, his legacy is stretches deep within the Madison and Wisconsin community in terms of bass playing. And then um, going on to study within... Speaking of awards... Oh, look at that! <laughs> you are the high music most valuable teacher. Get out of here. 2022. <laughs> and you have a custom... That looks head. exactly like me. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Well, man, thank you. Yeah. You, you dropped the mic. The mic. I dropped the mic. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. Thank you. That's a great honor. Sneak up behind you. Yeah. Yeah, back to the great teachers, and that means a lot to get that award. Um, so I'm also continuing on the legacy of not only my first teacher, Rob, but also my teacher here at UW Madison, who is Richard Davis. And if you know anything about Richard Davis, he's the most prolific bass player of the 1960s and 70s in New York touring with people like Miles Davis, Sarah Vaughn. He also played with Eric Dolphy, Van Morrison, Bruce Springsteen, Barbara Streisand. So that's who I studied with. I um, mean, he was probably, you know, the most inspiring person for me, not only just teaching bass, but giving life lessons as well. And that's something I try to bring here as a teacher as well. We're not only learning bass and music in here, but we're, you know, learning life lessons. Um, growing up, I was probably the shyest kid in class, the quietest kid in class. Being on stage for the first time, I was the singer in my first band doing a lot of metal you know, like, whoa, kind of music. <laughs> so I was, I was doing that. Um, that was like my first band. And um, playing the first show, even though it was like just for like outdoor, backyard, friends, family concert, that really just kind of like opened me up. And you were talking like earlier about like what, you know, music means to me. I think that also just opened my soul and not only just me, my soul, but like my personality as well. I think everything is totally possible within the realm of music and arts. You know, a lot of, you know, things today, like arts get diminished in some kind of way. But, you know, playing music and making a career in music is totally possible. I'm living it right now, you know. So I just like give inspiration to any kids. I've had kids come through here teach, uh, studying with me and have gone on to make their own careers in music. So it's totally possible to do that. And I just wanted to have that, you know, as an inspiration to anyone out there who wants to do it. That, you know, if you want to do that and it moves you, to always follow what moves you. I just want to say th uh, a big thank you to Todd, Dee Dee, and all the members at Hyde Music for making this happen. You know, without the help of everyone here, we're like a big, happy family here. Without the help of everyone, it wouldn't be in this spot for me today. So, big thank you and big love to everybody out there.